Hi, Flosstube. Hello, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep Stitching, episode 305. Oh, oh. Two plus two plus one plus 150 plus 50 plus 50 plus 45 plus 5 is 305 because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. Hope you've had a great week of stitching. Yep. And uh, if you love hot weather, we hope that you have... Uh, you must be happy as a freaking clam. That's right. You know? <laughs> uh, if you're mostly in America. Mostly we've been in the air conditioning. Central air. God bless um, you. I love those Instagram props that say, um, your last picture taken outside. Yeah, don't have one of those. <laughs> don't have one. Coming up empty. Goose egg. I wonder what mine is. Um... Do you have a picture taken outside? The last picture I took outside. <laughs> yeah, she goes with the thumb. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. You can keep talking. It's going to be a minute. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, glad you could find some time, whether you are um, sitting in air conditioning or not, or to, not, to check in with us and make sure that we're okay. <laughs> this was the last picture I have taken outside. Aww. Me and Sean at StitchCon in June. Why was it outside? Well, it wasn't that hot during StitchCon. So. No. We were okay. just outside. I was coming or going or whatever. And Correct. He said, hey, let's make a, let's take a selfie. Let's make a picture. And I said, okay, let's take a selfie, you know? <laughs> and then before that, it was, oh, wait, they remember the turtle? Oh, yeah. Um, When we were, um, just in case you couldn't tell. Yeah. That's a turtle. Um, And when we were getting ready for StitchCon... Right. And bringing stuff in and out of the convention center. From the back yeah. side. I, um, from the loading dock. Yeah. I went to my car for something. Right. And the, there was a delivery guy dropping off linens and he was like, watch out for that turtle. And I was like, what? He was like, there's a turtle over there. And I was like, what? He was like, there's a turtle. <laughs> And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he was like, a turtle. And I was like, oh, like a live turtle. Yeah. So I took a photo of it. So that is funny. So Sitcom was the last time I took pictures outside. That really was not that long ago. So, yeah. Um, today is the last day. Let's take a moment. Mm, rest in peace to my vacation. Of Stephanie's vacation <laughs> from working at the shop. Yes. Um. That's not to say she hasn't been working <laughs> at our fair. dining room table. To be fair. To be fair. Um, Maybe a little bit about that later. Yeah, well, I'm just going to do it now. Oh, just segue right in. Right now, you know. Um, instead of circling the wagons, we'll just plow them right through. Um, <laughs> so tomorrow, the physical shop of Keepsakes reopens. Side so note, we live in Cincinnati, Ohio. Keepsakes is our local needlework shop. Yeah. I work there. Okay. Uh, and um, sometimes I share some stuff about what I do, what's happening at the shop, all the things. Um, and so, um, the big thing happening uh, in the next couple weeks is that all of your pre-orders of Any Town, Tiny Town, which is the Keepsakes exclusive from Heart and Hand. Um, we took pre-orders for them earlier this spring. Those begin shipping this week. Exciting! So, very exciting. Um, and um, so, if you place an order online uh, for a pre-order, then um, as soon as a shipping label has been made for your package, you will get a email from us with the tracking information mm -hmm. um and our goal is to we have like a plan so the goal is for all the international packages to be processed first because those will take the longest to get to their homes um we have a package that's going to indonesia we have some packages going to australia uh new zealand canada europe all the things so i think there's maybe 25 or so international packages mm -hmm. so regardless of what they include whether they're just the chart or a full kit or whatever um that's our goal is to get those out first um and then 
we're going to work on them in categories. So we have all the chart only orders and the chart and pin order and chart and fabric orders and da, 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 da. So we have it all organized. Hi. Um, and so um, trying to do it as systematically and as efficiently as possible. Yep. So um, the caveat is that it, when you placed your pre-order, it said that everything will ship mid July. Mid July is July 15th and they will start shipping mid July. So we're trying to get a little bit of a head start on the things. So just be patient with us. Remember that we are a small business and that we're not some big, huge company. Oh, hi kitty. Um, I don't know where she expects she's going. Don't know. Um, and so with, just remember that, that we have all of your orders and they will go out, but we have many, many of them. Yeah. So everybody remembers, but you know, somebody that's new. Yeah. Um, might be saying, well, I didn't pre-order. How mm -hmm. do I get this? Right. So, um, next week we'll show the chart. Um, and then, um, if that, if the chart is something that you wish you had pre-ordered, um, unfortunately the pre-orders are closed. Mm -hmm. So there's that. The chart will be available to all shops, not just keepsakes. There you go. Next March at market. So uh, March 2024. Market. Okay. Um, there is a chance that we would have extras. Um, but you can, if you are someone who wants to reach out about that, I don't recommend reaching out until mid, like the 1st of August. Don't reach out like, in the next week. Yeah, because we won't, we won't know. I mean, at this point, we know what our numbers were. Sure. We know what we ordered from all the different places for threads, fabric, charts, etc. Um, but until we get every last one of those orders out, we don't know what we have extra of, if anything. Yeah. So, keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so, I'd mark your calendar, set an alarm for like the 1st of August, and then reach out to us then. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If you want to see if we have any extras. That would be good. So, um, and there On might, the off chance. Yeah, and there might be a social media post about that, too, if yeah. if there's a ton of extras. But I we were pretty good about calculating things and all that. So, yeah. um, so that's exciting. So, um, for the other things, like the Bluebirds of Happiness, the Rosewood Manor exclusive, um, the courage chart that Pam is stitching, all of those things will be available, are available. Um, you can get them on our website starting tomorrow, or you can call the shop and get them. Um, yeah. But I also will say that the number one priority when it comes to shipping out orders is Tiny Town. It's going to be Tiny Town. Yeah. So um, you might have to wait just a little bit longer if you um, have an order that is not Tiny Town. Mm -hmm. um, but just keep that in mind. Makes so, sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the uh, the keepsakes update. There you go. Yeah. Um, it's all very exciting. One thing that uh, ended our week uh, yesterday mm. um, that I might as well mention here was something that I had never participated in. I've done Zooms. You know, we all did Zooms, I think, you know, during uh, lockdown. Particularly uh, during lockdown mm -hmm. and, and some have continued and. And there are many varieties of stitching zooms out there. Yeah. Um, and um, this one crossed my feed, mm -hmm. for lack of a better phrase. Um, I think that's the phrase. Is it? Yeah. Um, two or three days ago, and I thought, hmm, hmm, hmm. that hmm. looks like it might be something I want to participate in. And it is a um, international zoom. Mm. It is hosted by our good friend, um, Angie, mm -hmm. at Tiny House Stitcher, and also someone that Stephanie has interacted with in the past, Marie, who mm -hmm. is in the UK at Stitching in Diamonds, mm -hmm. and um, it is simply just a visit. There mm -hmm. is really not too much formal other than if you want to, you can show what you're stitching on. Yeah. And um, just general discussions. 
Um, I'm going to say there were maybe 10 or 12 of us on there. Yeah, it was um, a good group. Yeah, it was a good sized group. Um, it's totally free. It's totally free. Mm -hmm. If you've done Zooms before, you know. If you haven't ever tried Zoom, um, do a it's Google really search. Easy. It's super easy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Did they say how often they do them? Because I did look at. It's about monthly, yeah, as I understand. Okay. And they started uh, back uh, before the end of last year. Oh wow! Tail end of last year. Okay. So it hasn't been going terribly <coughs> long, but. Again, we're into July, so that's already seven months yes, right there. Yes, seven months, yeah. Because um, you thought it was the first one. No, I didn't know, and that's why I thought I would just check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know too much about it. Of course, we know Angie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, love well, her. And I know Marie. And you know Marie. So mm -hmm. I thought, okay, let's just see what this is about. Yeah. So it lasts about a couple hours. Mm -hmm. It's grand time. And... Um, the way it came across my feed, I think, was Angie said there are a few slots left. Oh, so, so they like rain it in. So I think they have a cap of participants. Yeah, that makes sense. But like, yesterday, um, yesterday, I participated. I saw a couple of familiar faces. Obviously, I saw Angie. I've just seen her at StitchCon. Mm -hmm. And also a Sarah um, from Sarah Stitchy Spot. And also... Um, Sarah from So Me Sarah. Uh, two floss troopers were on there. And as Sarah said, um, what a lovely alternative way to uh, interact with each other. Other than you watch my floss tube, I watch your floss tube. You know, yeah. kind of thing. It was more conversational. Sure. And, it, and the subjects ranged mostly around stitching topics. And um, uh, if you were so inclined, you could... Um, you know, show what you're stitching on. So it was tons of fun. Yeah. Um, and if that is something that you might be inclined to be interested in, um, I think you should um, <coughs> um, check out any of those floss tubers. Um, Angie. Is that Somi Sarah? Yeah, it's Somi okay, Sarah. Yeah. 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 Um, Cute. Sarah or um, either of the two Sarahs. Um, the one in Northern Ireland or the one in Northern California mm. and, um, or Angie or Marie. Um, so it was super fun. It was really a nice group, very relaxed. Um, nothing too formal, but yeah. nice to hear from folks from across the pond. Yeah, it was fun. So, nice. So follow Angie and Marie for more information. Absolutely. Let's do a hashtag. Okay, let's. Our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. And it is our attempt. This cat is being hilarious right now. I'm very sorry. Look at her. There's a toy stuck on the couch. Oh, so she's, so she's trying to get it. She's waiting she for it to come she out. She can't oh. figure out why it's not coming out. Right. She thinks it's like a mouse or something. Maybe. Let's hope well, not. It's not a real mouse. No. Obviously. But it might be a toy mouse. Yeah. Uh, anyway, okay, hashtag Stitch Harmony, our right. attempt Sorry. at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who does not have a stitching friend that is local to you, uh, and you would like our help to find you a friend that lives local to you that also cross stitches, then we would love to help you do that. Yeah. So uh, if you want our help, then leave a comment on the video and use the hashtag Stitch Harmony up front. Tell us your name and where you live. And we pick one of those comments every week to share. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so who is this week's feature? Uh, well, we rattled the page a little bit. Uh, last week we didn't have any state harmony oh, requests. Rattled them. And um, so we got one. And what's super cool about this one is uh, she lives in our area. So um, not real close, like not right in our city, but in our town. Very close. But she lives in the greater Now, let me area. give you a little bit of backstory before I tell you what Maureen wrote. Maureen... That's was, where I saw her name. Yeah. Maureen was at StitchCon, and um, she, No, she signed up for Summer Stitch. Oh, oh. Well, Maureen was at StitchCon, and she happened to be sitting at a table at Weekend A with a group of stitchers that um, self-described titled themselves as the solo stitchers. Yeah. The prior year in 2022, 
they all had come as solos. In other words, by themselves. No? It was after StitchCon 2022. So Connie, so when they were, they were all, these were all first time people. Right. In 2023. Right. So it wasn't, no one, none of them came to 2022. So it was after StitchCon 2022, Connie, who's in the solo Stitchers group, posted in the StitchCon 2023 group and said, I've signed up for 2023, but I'm coming by myself. Okay. Well. I'm confused. But it's anyway, okay. there was a group that came as individuals and they ended up all at the same table. Yeah. Um, and because they met on the Facebook group and then they created this little group together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have pieces of the same story. Yes. Sorry. No, it sounds so discombobulated. No, it doesn't. Um, one of the, one of the gals actually is a professional opera singer mm. and she actually, or maybe the table, came up with the lyrics to a cute little song that they performed at the podium at StitchCon A. It was amazing. And it was to the tune of, um... Oh, crap. Shoot. Shoot. A very famous opera. I can't Couldn't bring, tell it, you. bring it to mind. But anyway. But it's good. It's the one that starts with, um... T oh, show. Sing, sing it for us, Pam. No. Sing it, Pam. Um... Uh, something like that. I can't. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yes, it's that one. Yell it out, folks. Yell it out. Anyway, okay, so this is Maureen, and this is what she wrote. Back to Stitch Harmony. Holy cow, we get off track. It's okay, easily. Pam. It's fine. It's all fine. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Hi, Pam. I live in Batavia, Ohio. And if you want to know where Batavia is, it is due east of here. Possibly a little bit south east from where we're sitting right now. Okay, so she wrote, I live in Batavia, Ohio, and I need some stitchy friends. I attended my first StitchCon Weekend A by myself. Mm -hmm. So that's this year. In 2023. This year. Yep. And as I was walking around looking for an empty seat, the wonderful solo stitchers, Connie, Sheila, Karen, Ashley, the opera singer... And Jim asked me if I, Jim, I love Jim, if I would sit with them. I was so blessed to spend the weekend with these wonderful ladies who met for the first time at StitchCon this year. Yes, who met for the first time at StitchCon this year, 2023. Oh, I thought it was something that went back. No, okay. No. You might remember their story. After StitchCon in 2022, Connie posted a question if anyone had attended StitchCon by themselves. The other ladies commented they would attend alone, and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. And they had kept in touch all year and met up finally this in year, in 2023. Yeah. So, Maureen, who lives in Batavia, was invited to sit with all of them this past StitchCon. Yes. And that was that weekend day. Yes. Yeah, so, Connie, Sheila, Karen, Ashley, so and Jim. So, that's right. five. Right. And there are six seats at the table. Right. And so, they had made a decision that when, right. at come StitchCon, they were going to find one person who was oh, there by themselves. Cool that? That's wonderful. And then bring them over to their group. And that person happened to be Maureen. Okay. And wouldn't you know, I mean, you would think Maureen is, I'm going to call her local. Oh, Yeah. I mean, Crystal and also she, live in Batavia. Right. And and she comes to StitchCon in Sharonville, Ohio. Right. And comes by herself and is looking for a seat. So so it is a half hour from the Sharonville Convention Center where StitchCon is to Batavia, Ohio. I a obviously half hour. I obviously don't have your exact address, Maureen, but right. it's also a half hour from our home to Batavia. Yeah. So there's just like We're any, a little bit north. Yeah, so I was going to say Batavia is technically south of yeah, us. South of us. Yes, yeah. not direct south, but south, a little south. I said southeast. East. Yeah. So. Yeah. The um. But anyway, Maureen said I have stayed in contact with them, but of course they came from all different locations. Sure. But I need stitchy friends in my area. Mm -hmm. I hope you can help me. Yes. So. I think we can handle this one pretty easily. Pretty easily. So, um, if you heard me mention, first of all, that Maureen, I don't know, 
So just so you know. Right. Keepsakes, which is 25 minutes away from Batavia, has open stitch whenever the shop is open. So you can come and you can sit and you can stitch. There's larger groups of uh, stitchers that come on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but we obviously, and Fridays is growing as well, And but we also have stitching a table open for you to come and sit and stitch on Monday and Tuesday as well, if that's more your vibe. Not sure what your world looks like, but also... You heard me say Crystal and Lisa live in Batavia. So Crystal and Lisa are two of our members of the Crockpot crew. Well, Delisha's out there, too. And Delisha, too. Yeah. And I never remember that Delisha's in Batavia. And so um, they both have, all three of them have floss tube channels. So Crystal and Lisa have Stitch in the Dream. And then Delisha's Kentucky Sass Stitches. So I'll tag them below so you can follow them. They live in Batavia. Um, but... I know that there are a ton of other stitchers. You know, you keep saying they live in Batavia. I also use the the term East for that Gate. area, Eastgate. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure Eastgate slash Batavia. Claremont County. Claremont County, Ohio. <laughs> Say that. It's pretty much zeroing in. Yes. So, but I know that there are a ton of other stitchers here oh, yeah. local that are in that general area. So, if... Your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Batavia, Ohio. And you have room in your stitching group for Sweet Maureen. And I also said Maureen is coming to Summer Stitch, so that's great. Yeah. So. Maureen, you're set. You're doing it. You know, you're doing the things. Okay? You're going to have a, a local stitching friend. And is there a group of people that still stitch at the Milford Panera? I don't know. I I'll don't... find out and tell you it's Summer Stitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Batavia, Ohio, and you have room in your stitching group for Sweet Maureen, then please comment on this video and say, Hi, Maureen. Yeah, my Delisha name. was trying to get a group together to meet at a library, at the library out that way. I don't know whether it ever got off the ground. I don't know, so, but you find out. You know. So, my name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance of Batavia, Ohio, and I would love to stitch with you. So, Maureen, I hope you've been taking notes, but also read through the comments below and see if anyone has reached out to you, and you can hopefully find a new stitching friend. Right. Yay. Okay. All right. So, that means it's time for... I need to get my kazoo one second. <laughs> I'm really busy, okay? I'm taking notes. I'm blowing kazoos. Musical. All right. Sorry about that. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, that means it's time for Pam's pinned comment. Of all the comments after last week's video, this is the one that I chose as oh Pam's pinned comment. What's her last name? Oh. Um, I was reading it. Yeah. Run bolster. No. <laughs> it still isn't right. But anyway. I know, Pam. Thanks. So, <laughs> you know, I talked about how I'm having a little trouble with, you know, getting older. Uh -huh. And um, <clears throat> last week, we had a pattern of the week that was, um, that the model of which is framed at Keepsakes in what I called a bureau mirror frame. Oh, is that not correct? No, it's correct. Oh, okay, okay. But um, Pam's pin comment comes from Catherine. Mm -hmm. I just read the first line. That's funny. And she said, Pam, and let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, six exclamation oh, points, I love it. marks after my name, points. Pam, like she's really yelling. You should have used all caps, Catherine. Catherine says, I haven't heard the word bureau in years. In that context, of course, we know about but the Federal Bureau of Investigation, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is also, anyway, anyway, <laughs> another form of bureau. Anyway, she says, it's what my grandmother called her bedroom dresser. Because that's what a bureau is. She also used to use the phrase, a chest of drawers. I've also heard that as well. I is also that wrong? No, no. They're just old school terms. Yeah. She said, I also remember her calling the sofa a divan. Never heard of that before my or life. Or a divan. Divan. I think it's divan. I think it's Devon. You're going to have to vote on that, folks. I That's your hope homework. it's Devon. Anyway, Catherine says you brought back many memories today. Um, I grew Devon. up. I grew up in the '60s, 
And I thought of dad's chest of drawers as his dresser. If I was sent to put clothes in dad's chest of drawers, it was his dresser and it was taller. And it was yeah. mostly just drawers. The top one might have had three sections. Um, I remember that, oh my goodness, when we were cleaning out your grandmother's uh, last apartment, I found his Navy dog tags in one of those sectioned sections of the oh. top um, dresser. But mom had the lower, wider um, bureau, bureau with the mirror on top. So anyway, these were the terms that were used by us old folks. And um, I'm glad that um, it brought back memories for some folks who might remember those terms as well. Um, so thank you to everybody who left comments after last week's video. We thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy them and appreciate them. That isn't. That's anyway. not it. That's uh, not it. That's what they said. Well, that's what that person says. That's what the YouTube says. And I think it depends on how you pronounce things, depending on what part of the country. Devon. It wasn't. Certainly was not Devon. That's <laughs> how. Well, that's how I say it at this house. All right. Thank you so much. You need to get. Yep, I'm ready. I'm good. I had it pulled up, and then you distracted me, Pam. Didn't take much. Yeah. Devon. <laughs> That means it's time for the silver and gold segment and our gold floss tuber this week. I thought we did silver first, but okay. Oh, why do I have, we do do silver first. We do do silver. All right. So <laughs> let's do, do, do silver first. What, what do, do you do? say? Do do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying now? <laughs> you just said, we do do silver first. And then I said, you said do do. <laughs> anyway. Cause I am. 12. Okay, girls. Um, and boys. And boys, no, I meant the people I'm going to talk about. They're both female. Oh, sorry. Um, I'll just leave. <laughs> she's kind of, she's kind of going oh. off track here. Um, our silver floss tuber this week is a mother and daughter team, just like Steph and I. Mm -hmm. And um, we last saw them at StitchCon as well. Sure um, now they just put up a new video today, Ooh. so my stats are one off. Bam. But uh, they are our friends, Joy and Emma K from the Carolina Stitchers. Yeah. My girls. Hello. And as of today, they have made nine videos. Dang. That's amazing. And um, they started making videos in April of this year. We love it. And they are very enthusiastic. Uh, they are a military, they are members of a military family. Mm -hmm. So um, they... Um, uh, show a lot of patriotic stitching yep. and um, are just very enthusiastic about being a part of the community. They are and, very much, which is and, awesome. Um, they are in the South. And because... Oh, I, I was supposed to look it up. You were supposed to look Do up. Do you want me to pause it and look it up right now? Yeah, let's pause it okay, and look on. it up so they no. know. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay. I just check because I get my Carolinas mixed up. I'll be perfectly honest with yep, you. Yep, sure do. But um, these two lovely ladies are from... Um, South Carolina. I literally just told you. I know. It's hard. Notice the gray hair. Uh-huh. Um, so anyway, we want you to go and um, give them some love and make sure that you um, check them out and see yeah. if they are um, folks you want to get to know. Which we encourage you to do. Which you would, we encourage you to do. Yes. And our gold floss tuber, and again, you know, doesn't mm -hmm. take doesn't take too many floss tubes to become gold. Mm -mm. But um, they're our friends, Chris and Jane, and they are the boss stitchers. Boss meaning boss. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, we just adore these gals. Sure. Um, they've been to StitchCon uh, more than once, and we've been with... Um, them at other various retreats yep. like the one that we go to in the fall in New Hampshire. Yep. Um, and they sat at our table at Galleria last year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was a hoot and a holler. <laughs> That's right. Um, they um, 
are um, have been doing floss tubes since August of 2020. Mm -hmm. So pretty much during the pandemic era. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> can I say anything that she doesn't <laughs> giggle at? <laughs> Um, they were just so funny. Yeah, right. Um, and they've made 70, yeah. seven zero videos. Um, and just put their 70th one up, yeah. if I recall. Yeah. Um, both of these floss tube channels also have StitchCon recap videos. Yeah. So um, if we never get around to doing ours, <laughs> there are plenty of others. We will eventually. But. You know, um, there are so many out there. Yeah. And as, um, Don't worry, I'm still going to make the playlist, okay? There, there'll be a playlist, if nothing else. So, anyway. Yeah. So, that's our silver and gold segment um, for this week. So, go check them out. Go we love them. check them out. Okay. Um, we, we highly endorse both uh, floss tube channels. We sure do. Okay, let's talk about stitching, shall we? Wow. We shall. Finally. Okay. Um, so, I... Took out this whip. I showed it last week because I said, I want to stitch on some patriotic cross stitch. Oh, before you sh talk about that, we forgot to say that we did go to the fireworks. We did. And we were able to walk. Yeah, Basically, across the main drag, we right outside. We took our lawn chairs and we walked across we the street. took our lawn chairs, we walked across the street, mm -hmm. and we probably saw, at least I'm going to say... Mm. In my 60-odd years, one of the best fireworks displays I've ever seen. We were so close to them. And it, it was, was so almost good. as if I needed to tip my chair yeah, back. Yeah, it was like this. Or I'm lean not back. It and was wild. some of these bursts were, like, right in my face. Yeah, I felt like it was going to just... And loud. I mean... Well, uh, yeah, we were really close. We were extremely close. Yep. So... It was awesome. It was really... Oh, shoot. Pam, keep talking. Okay, so she had sculpted it out and figured out where they were going to shoot them off. and Because they put up this, like, orange protective fencing. Right. And so I said, they're going to do them more. Because last year... We kind of got misinformed. We did. So, um, we live in a suburb, obviously. It's very much a suburb. And we live pretty close to the schools in the Mason School District. Yes. And... There was some kind of um, city-sponsored event. It's called Red Rhythm and Boom. Red Rhythm and Boom, and yeah, it a was concert. No. It was a farther walk away from our house. It's more or less near the football field for the yeah. high school. Yeah, we weren't interested in that. And as we left the house about mm -hmm. quarter past nine, mm -hmm. nine thirty, mm -hmm. really wasn't completely dark. No. Um, they were shooting off fireworks for this other red rhythm and boom thing that was going on over there. <laughs> but the minute we crossed, like I said, the main drag, we could see folks sitting already settled in mm -hmm. where we intended to go. Yep. But because this show was going on until almost 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. I was like, don't tell me. Don't tell yeah, me. This is the second year in a row we're in the wrong place. I'm and gonna I'm going to tell you what. At 10 o'clock, they stopped. Yeah. And the big show started up. It was up. amazing. And it was amazing. It so wasn't super crowded. It was everybody awesome. who worried that I, I wouldn't take Stephanie to the fireworks. I would have gone by myself, um, for the record. We got out to our long driveway. Because I'm a patriot. And there was a uh, an older couple. Oh, they were the cutest. And... <laughs> Because we're so close, a lot of people parked on, on our street, street which yeah. is a cul-de-sac, and then did like us. They walked across the main drag with uh -huh. their chairs and got settled in. Yeah. So these two were, um, I don't so know cute. where they lived, but they were parking pretty much on our street. And um, Stephanie started in with saying something about... Um, you're in the right spot. We've yeah. lived here for over 20 years, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, that's not possible. You're only 16. You know, and I he, was like, he was real cute. You can park here whenever you want. He was a really cute <laughs> fella. And, cute. um, the wife was just grinning along, like, yeah. see what I live with? Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Thing. It was cute. And, um, then after the fireworks were over, we'll get to the stitching in a minute. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh before the, uh, after the fireworks were over and we were all getting ready to cross over, um, wouldn't you know? There they are, no, sidling up to us, getting ready to cross. It's a four-laner. And then he's literally, did you hear what he said to us? Oh, my girls. Oh, I didn't hear that. 
And so and anyway, we wrong. got across the street and we got onto our street and their car and so forth. And we were turning down our driveway. And and um, Stephanie was like, you know, if you um, ever need to park, if you want to come back next year, <laughs> our driveway is available. You know, <laughs> yeah. First house on the left or whatever. <laughs> so it was it was a really fun evening. So yeah. that was our that was our fourth, and that was on Monday night. So yeah, because we have an amusement park here that does a big Fourth of July fireworks show. Yeah. So they have an agreement with the city. Da 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 da. So there's yeah. a big show on the third and a big show on the fourth. We didn't even go to the one on the fourth because we were like we don't even need that after right. last night. We the city of Cincinnati out. does a thing at the end of the summer. Someone commented about they remembered. The fireworks on the river mm -hmm. down, downtown. W, the WEBN fireworks. Yeah, the WEBN uh, fireworks. And that's generally a celebration of the end of summer. Mm -hmm. um, we don't go to that. And that's a, that's a big people draw. And that's just not our scene. No, thank you. Uh, okay, can we talk about crosses now? Let's talk about crosses. Okay. I'm so sorry. And it's fine. So we're going to not eat dinner until 11. So it's fine. <laughs> um, so the um, I pulled this whip out for the holiday. And I thought I'll just work on it for like a couple days from the fourth and then I'll go, go to another whip, whatever that is. Well, I didn't do that. I just worked on it all week. And so this is Jeans and Weenies from Plum Street Samplers. And last week I had like the hydrant done and the word and. I think I had and yeah, the so hydrant. Yeah. I've worked on it steady all week, but remember, I haven't been working. So, so that's what I have. And I love it so much. So I went over to this side because I said for the floss tube, I at least wanted to say and weenies. <laughs> and I got jeans in as well. And then, so I focused on this side first doing that little wiener dog with the eagle and the flag and all that fun stuff and then I went over and did the jeans and I finished that quilt star this afternoon so um and I told her she should just keep on going and get a finish that's what Pam said so that's what I said that um, was my advice and I want to finish it just like this I they the finish actually use what I was looking to see if it was framed or or no, it's a pillow. Pillow, and, adorable. Um, I think that's what I want to do. I think first you gotta finish it. I know, but I like the idea. So on the back of the model, <clears throat> um, not on the back of the model, on the back of the pattern, or the chart. On the back of the chart is a picture of the back of the pillow. Oh, sorry. And it's a little jean jacket pocket that they'd cut out and put for like scissors or whatever mm. and they put it on the back of the pillow and oh. I think that's kind of cute oh, okay. but I don't know um so I think it's cute as a pillow so that's probably what I'll do um so that's my jeans and weenies that's what I've been working on all week that's what I'm gonna work on tonight and yep. that's I gotta do what my mom says no and, you don't have to and you're a grown woman none of that and uh, <laughs> work on it till I get a finish we'll try we'll see what happens and that's that that's okay. all I've been working on okay so um, everybody settle in <laughs> so if you were with us last week you know that I have um, three Whipco pieces that my goal was 14 days so in order to do that, I have to work on each of them, each of those 14 days. And we talked about the definition of days, right? Uh -huh. So I keep them in a Q-snap with my magnets to hold my excess fabric. And I don't really, until next week, I don't really want to take them out of the Q-snap unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, okay, do whatever you want. So <clears throat> one of them is the Pumpkins Lenarty kit from um, from artwork from Marjolaine Baston and um, I'm just going to show you it's not going to look too much different than my Instagram post except I did do another leaf last night mm -hmm. so each day I've been working on these three and that will fulfill my goal by Friday of this week mm -hmm. 
and then I will have the rest of July to do other things and yeah. I have some things in mind so unfortunately <clears throat> um, this isn't the whole pattern um, but wow does that show up nice mm -hmm. so last evening while we were watching TV I did this other leaf because what I would like to do if possible is bring everything to this point so we're I'm gonna starting... have to eventually yeah I know but rather than continue to the corner over here oh. I want to bring everything even got it so I've been able to finish this post mm -hmm. and the two leaves and there's a giant uh, greenish blue pumpkin that I haven't even gotten to yet mm. so that gives you an idea anyway yeah it's beautiful yeah okay so that can go over and there. then when you're done next week yeah when we'll I'm take it out when I'm done I'll I'll display I'll show them sure. to you outside the key sure okay the other one that I needed to work on every day for 14 days was Monopoly mm -hmm. and um, as I showed on my Instagram I did turn another corner so I'm now on the fourth side mm -hmm. So I was able to get in the um, go to jail corner, which like the faucet for waterworks is pretty much all white, like white blob until you do the back stitching. Sure. But, and then I was able this morning to do um, the first green property, which is specific. Mm -hmm. So cool. So that's where I am on that. And if you don't know what a Monopoly board is, do the Google. Yes. And in the Whipgo board is my Wizard of Oz project. And if you've been watching us for any length of time, you know what I'm referring to. They are from Brooks Books. Mm, and so I am on the top, um, the no, last I character. I I'm on the last character. So this is the... Um, all powerful, what is it? The the great and powerful. Great and powerful wizard himself. Yes. And so um, building them from the bottom up. Yep. Yeah. So look at those is. friggin' pants. The pants are the deal, man. I mean, you can get down some pants like that. Yeah. And then the vest is uh, the striped purple vest, and you can see the his two little hands on his hips. Mm -hmm. They haven't done his arms yet, and the little um. Fog or pocket watch that is coming out of his vest. Oh, I love it so much. So it's pretty spectacular. It's just great, Pam. Yeah. I was talking, or was it, ta well, I was telling Steph that I was watching um, Yaz from Yasmin Custom Bags this morning a little bit. And she was talking about the um, Little Mermaid characters that um, mm. Brooke started and never completed that series. Um, I know that she's had some health problems, health concerns, and that may be the reason. But even Yaz holding up that um, King Ocean or King whatever and the, and the Little Mermaid. Um, Ariel. Yeah, just spectacular. I mean, it just, mm. her designs are just top drawer to me. To yeah. Me. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to show you is um, I did start the second. Yeah, you had three new starts this week. Yeah, I did start the second Birds of a Feather that was lent to me, and that was the White Christmas mm -hmm. uh, four ornaments lent to me by the same generous person who lent me the angels. And... Um, I did make a start, and after Friday, I will be able to get back to this a little bit more, um, with a little bit more time. But I did start one corner. They all have these blue corners mm -hmm. on them, if you can see. Blue, look, snowflake borders, uh, corners. Yeah. So I was able to, I didn't cut this fabric, but that's fair. And these um, are, the fabric is 32 count assemblaire from Color and Cotton, yeah. which is was the fabric of the month last year. And it's year. 32 count. Yep. So it's not as um, difficult, not difficult, challenging as the 40 count angels. Sure. So I did get one corner done on yeah. this. Yeah. And the, the woman who's lent me these, she 
she said, I think she was getting worried because I was rushing through those angels. And she said, um, don't hurry, relax and enjoy. So, well, that's um, sweet. That was very nice of her. So I will get back to those. Yep. Because they are on loan. Yep. And then you had your 4th of July starts. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, let me mention this yeah, first. Yep. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, of course, we're going as guests of Twin Peak Primitives to the Netherlands in September, mm -hmm. and they're offering a finishing class. Yeah. And they designed this cute little um, design called Windmills, and we're so going to get cute. to finish it over there during the stitching uh, days, the two-day mm -hmm. stitching event. And I, I made a very paltry... Yeah. Uh, a poultry start on my. What does that mean? Because I just heard you say a poultry start, meaning a chicken start. And I don't know what that poultry. means. Poultry. A very meager. Yes, yeah, let's say that instead. Meager? Not, yeah. not poultry. Not poultry, because it sounds like turkey start. <laughs> you got anyway. a snort out of that one. <laughs> anyway, and um, I believe someone over in the Netherlands four years ago made me this beautiful mm -hmm. bag. Yep. So. There you I go. Colby did, I think. And on the 4th of July, I, I had two new starts. What? And these were what? You had two new starts. Oh, oh, I thought something happened. Um, no, we're making a faucet. That's all that's happening. <laughs> so, if you recall, how many did you kit up for me? 16? 16, yeah. 16 mm -hmm. of my charts she mm -hmm. kitted up for me last Christmas. Yep. And... What I did is I scheduled those because I'm like that. Yes. And the first one for the 4th of July that I started was from Samplers Not Forgotten, and it's called 4th of July Picnic. Perfect. I thought so. And I'm doing this on Marbled Bunny from Extra Designs. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get very far. It's okay, start as a start, you know? Yep. So I got part of the corner, mm -hmm. um, which looks patriotic enough. So pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Very and pretty. That's the fabric. Right. So It's going to be really pretty, ma'am. I just started up in the upper left-hand corner. Right that's like here. such an intense border. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's more to it than you'd think. I mean, I would not... Not crazy intense, but a lot yeah. more to it than you'd think. Yeah. And this fabric is just so good. Yeah. If yeah. I do say so myself, because I picked it out. <laughs> yeah. So that is, and it's in it's this adorable bag from Gamma's, yep. which is perfect. I mean, the pattern's called Fourth of July Picnic. So, you know. That looks like a Fourth of July Picnic. Yeah. And we always put our pattern in a corresponding bag. Come here, Pam. Come here. Well, yeah. Just but come here. Just, thank you. I got it. Well, we went to find a whip in the last week. Oh, yeah. And the pattern had literally stuck to the fat, to the vinyl. To the vinyl. And there, there was, was no off. way I could unstick it without destroying the cover. Yeah, so I think the trick is that don't put paper up against the vinyl. Right. So that particular chart that got stuck was out of its plastic bag. Do you know what I mean? I do. Okay. Okay. So travel back in time. <laughs> the other, um, and I know why she picked this to kid up. The other, um, 4th of July start was from Lizzie Kate and it is Lady Liberty. Oh, I love her. And we already do have Sam and you have it, you have it FFO and you don't have an FFO. No, it's in the, under, under the, the bed, bed box. box. Yeah. The original under the bit box. Correct. Um, and it is done on a blue, gray Swigert 32 count. Mm -hmm. And it, again, is another very... She's got a one horn. Meager. 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 Not... Um, poultry. Not poultry. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Start. So you can see I'm at the top of her head. With her um, little Lady Liberty hat. Her, Liberty hat. Her crown. Her Lady Liberty hat. So, <laughs> it's very small. Looks like a unicorn. 
So, anyway. God, that's a nap, Here we go. And that is in my mm. beautiful Stariel. Stariel bag that Stephanie got me for my Mother's Day. Mother's Day or birthday? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Yeah, for birthday, I got you that kit, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so those. Come here. Nope, I just put it. Whoops. It's fine. I got zip, it. Zip, zip. Fine, fine. Unzip. So those are my whips. Which means that those. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know. Great balls of fire. On. Those <laughs> are our <laughs> whips of the week. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. She's ready. Okay. All right. Now we have some fun things to show you. We sure do. Because, because we mentioned last week. Yep. That uh, Lisa had let us know, mm -hmm. Lisa from L and M Framing, um, had some of our pieces finished. Yeah, not all, but some. Yeah, and um, she and Mark dropped them off the other day. Last week, yeah. And I'm going to show them to you. Who's going to go first? Why don't I go first? Since you just talked about your whips. Yeah. Okay. So. You guys, I love this one. Yeah. I love it so much. So this is this a, long... was a round robin. Yes. Yeah. I, I was part of it, so I, I know that. Um I was in the round robin. <laughs> right between the eyes. You know what Jackie Gleason used to say? You wanna go to the moon, Alice? No. My name is an Alice and I would like to stay on Earth. Thank you. <laughs> and I don't know who Jackie Gleason is. So <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, I was in a round robin, in case you missed it. So was Pam. She was in it, too. Yeah, mine's not finished yet. Um, we were in it with the Crock-Pot crew. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you've been with us for a while, you know that we've been working on this for a while. And the actual stitching cycle has com has oh yeah been long over with. Right. But um, I finally got mine framed. Mm -hmm. And um, so... This, it's a masterpiece. I love it so much. It's a I'm really proud of the frame because I picked it myself. Um, and this is Our Lasting Friendship by Blackbird Designs. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like. So this is on a 40 count from Color and Cotton. And it's using all the called for threads. And... I love like the gold coppery bits of it. Um, it really pulls out the threads. I think it looks really great. I love it so much. Like I literally could not be happier. Oh, I love it so much. I told her that I thought the, um, the gilt, um, uh, in the frame, the yeah. little bits that are shiny. Yeah. The top contrast the with the muted tones mm -hmm. very well. Yeah. And kind the, of, that, there you can see that. Yeah. Presents very well. And I feel like the little like brushing on the frame can look a bit green, which pulls out the, the sea foamy uh -huh. colors, which uh -huh. I just love it so much. So uh -huh. very happy with this. Uh -huh. Um, and, and it's got 2018 on it for a year. Yeah, and I put that year on it because 2018 was the year the Crock-Pot Crew was formed. Oh, that's right. So, so I will do the same thing. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. So it'll be really interesting to see yours in comparison framed size-wise. Yeah. Because um, mine's on 32, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But using all the called for colors. But, oh, and yeah. Obviously, we don't know what your frame will look like yet. Right. But. Everybody's was different in yeah. terms of count and in terms of... Um, colors yeah so pam and i chose to use the call for right but mine is on 32 yeah um and mine is on my whip go to finish this year yeah so we had to go back like put our own yeah. um initials in and stuff like that yeah. that was the our only responsibility and i just finished that up and pam just hasn't yet so yeah. so it's, go. it's up there yep okay um oh, brother so I think I finished this stitching this year. Yeah. yeah. Last month, I think, on Whipgo. Okay. I'm not sure if it was last. I don't think it was in June. 
Oh, no. But I think it was May. Okay. And I think this is the first one that I have actually finished the stitching and gotten framed so close together. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure. And I am in love with this. This is a very different piece for me. And this is a very different frame for me. But mm. they work together beautifully. And this is called Quakers in Scotland from Tempting Tangles. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it looks so good, Pammy. The motifs are fantastic. I described them a lot when... April 27th. Was when I finished it? Yes. I didn't know you were keeping track of things like that. It's on your Instagram. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, if you didn't see this when I finished it, all the motifs from the Scotland flag to, of course, the bagpipes... And the sporin, if you are a um, lover of that series of books that I can't think Outlander. of. Outlander. Outlander, right. And the crown jewels, the Scotty dogs, the bluebells, the um, swords of uh, Braveheart. Can't think of his name. Um, no, Gibson. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Gibson. Um, the castle overlooking uh, the, the Loch and the and Nessie, the Loch Ness monster, mm -hmm. and the Scottish Main, the unicorns and the heather. I just love this it's beautiful. so much. It's awesome. The color balance is amazing. And I love this frame. I think the sort of historic looking mm. frame yeah, for sure. uh, coordinates very, very well. It does. This is the first Tempting Tangles that I have completed. Mm -hmm. And I consider Tempting Tangles to be in their own mm -hmm. category. Yeah. In their own category. They are totally unique. We also have in our stash Quakers in, in Holland, Holland, which um, with the silks, yeah. neither one of us have started. But um, and then I have a couple of other tempting tangles mm. in my collection. But I just love this, love, love, love. It's got museum glass on it. Yeah, love it. All okay. of them do. Now um, this one may take me. Uh, I might have to stand on my head. I'm just warning you. No, you're not going to. We'll do it together. It'll be fine. Okay. This is a Bent Creek. And all of a sudden, I'm blanking out on the title of this. Halloween Mantle. Halloween Mantle. Bent Creek did a bunch of mantles, a lot of which I have in my collection. Mm -hmm. And they are stitched with pearl cotton. Yeah. And they have a <coughs> very bold look. And... This is super fun, mm -hmm. super, super fun. If you have a chance to do a bent creek and stitch with the pearl it's cotton, so cute. It's, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we picked out a very um, countrified, chunky. Chunky. chunky kind of um, old barn, autumn looking frame. And I think it's it perfect. Was perfect. Yeah. So. Um, this is Halloween Mantle from the Bent Creek, from Bent Creek, not the, mm -mm. and this is what she looks like. Oh, Isn't that, that fun? So cute. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness. I love it so much. Perfect That's frame. That's awesome. Perfect frame. Yep. Looks great. And great. I just, this is why I love Bent Creek. This, yep. this is one of the reasons why I love Bent Creek, and I still collect Bent Creek. You need to stitch another mantle. Yep, I do. I do. So. So, anyway, Great job. that is most of what Lisa has been framing for us. And this round. This round, and she and does a all of that. marvelous, marvelous job. This thanks to you guys. Absolutely. This is what the Buy Me a Coffee and the Ko-Fi Links um, 
help with. Yeah. And um, we're able to um, finish and put back into content on our channel. Yeah. Um, our stitching, and we sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. Absolutely. So, um, let's on to the next. Go to the next section. Okay. Promotions. Promotions. Welcome to the Triple P, the promotional portion of the program, where we talk to you about promotional items. Okay. And this week is, uh, we have the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. Yep. And um, that is a pattern that we pick, they pick, we, we, we decide discuss, together. And we pick one that we think that you'll love and then it is made for 23 percent off for an entire week after we announce it and this <clears throat> week this one is a re-release of one of the designs that they put in one of their tpp exclusive kits yes absolutely and um as it turns out we have one of those. Mm -hmm. and so we received it when it was part of the kit. Right. But now they're releasing it chart only to the masses. Uh, and that includes you, of course. And so this is the chart only. And right. the chart is called Willow Mansion. That's right. So instead of inserting a photo, we have the chart here. We can just show it to you. It's all yeah, very exciting. It's the same picture, actually. Yes. So Willow Mansion. And I have seen this stitched on Instagram. And those sunflowers are, are gorgeous. exquisite. Really, really are amazing. Mm. So that's Willow Mansion. Yes. Twin Peak. And it's giving me very like end of summer, August mm -hmm. vibes. Mm -hmm. So Willow Mansion. Mm -hmm. And um, if you love Willow Mansion as much as we do, and you would like to get your hands on a discounted copy of the chart, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can... Get a discounted PDF from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. Or you can get a discounted hard copy from the Daily Stitcher, which is an online New York shop. That's right. All those will be linked below. Yes, they sure will. You don't need uh, any special code or anything. It's already pre-discounted. Just add it to your cart and check out. That's right. Okay. Okay, that means it's time for Mail Call! All okay. right, who's going to go first? Um, why don't you go first? Okay. Um, we were contacted by a lovely gal who had been to StitchCon. Okay, so this came separate. This and that go together. So this was just a card. Okay. And she said she would picked up a piece of fabric and in the annex. Her name is Debbie. Mm -hmm. And she was at Table 4. Mm -hmm. And um, she said when she got it home, it was just a little bit too... Um, too hard to see for her. Yeah. It's an Atomic Ranch. It's a, a fat quarter, 32 count Lagana in the colorway Sequoia. Very, very pretty. So pretty. And she asked if we would like to have it. So thank you, Debbie. Yes, thank you and, so much. Um, That's so we, nice of you. We um, appreciate having that. So um, this is the card she sent. Yeah, I showed him. Um, very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. So. So thank you, Debbie. It did arrive fine, and we're happy to have yes, it. Yes, absolutely. And then um, this card came from our good friend Tiffany, who's a local stitcher and a beautiful handmade card maker. Mm -hmm. And it's um, a belated birthday card for me, but <laughs> it's I, so cute. she knows me very well because the SHI word is pretty much your favorite. My favorite. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is her card. The small letters say, I'm so sorry. I claim insanity. I completely forgot. Happy belated birthday. But this is what it says. I love it. So thanks, Taff. Yes. This was adorable. She said, so, so sorry I missed your birthday. So that was super cute. Okay, that's it. For that you. is it for mail call for me. And Okay. And then... Um, at StitchCon, uh, one of the things that we do is, um, as there's, we have door prizes and we have raffles, and part of the door prizes um, include these gift baskets, and the gift baskets are put together 
by all of us who are on the StitchCon team. So there's a Stephanie basket, a Pam basket, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I got a lovely card. So what I did, what I did this year was, um, so we each have to make two baskets because there's two weekends, right? So what I did was I, my favorite color is red. And so I got a bunch of red things and put them in a basket. And, um, the winner of one of the baskets was uh, a woman named Sharon and she sent me a really pretty thank you card and I just wanted to say thank you it made me really happy so I you, you know you always worry that like the person that wins because it's, it's totally random um isn't into the stuff that they get and she likes it so that was really fun so thank you for the card Sharon I appreciate it uh and then we got a very fun package from our sweet friend, Chris. Oh, yeah. From um, Shit You Fix. Chris is Victoria's mom. Victoria's one of my best friends. And um, she, little Miss Chris, just mm -hmm. went on a girl's trip to Paddy. Paris. And France. I know. And she brought us back gifts. Which is really sweet. Look what you brought me. Now this is this is the beautiful card. So cute. With the Samuel Coleridge quote on it. Yep. And she sent me a thread keep mm. which says, and she was there, folks. She bought it at Saju. From Saju. What a lovely souvenir. So pretty. What a lovely souvenir. Mm. My friend Chris went to Paris and brought me back gifts. <laughs> yes. Very nice. And she even gave me the Little Saju bag, Saju bag which says um, the address in Versailles. So I guess it's wow. in Versailles. I thought it was in Paris. What do I know? How close is Versailles to Paris? I don't know. Well, you know what, Pam? Well, we're going to find out. But the website is www.saju.fr. That is, uh, FR is for France. Yeah. <laughs> S-A-J-O-U. Saju. Is it? Oh, wait. What? There's, okay, wait. Versailles. Maybe it's. Yeah. How far is Versailles from... That's the... Oh, well... No, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, I'll look it up later. We'll look it up. Okay. Well, you can look it up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, um, then she sent me this sweet, sweet card. You always make life more fun. And a really sweet message that made me cry. Thank you, Chris. Um, and then, um, this sweet, sweet pattern that comes with the fabric. I was like, does it kind of have the floss? But no, it's just fabric. Okay. And um, I don't speak French, so I don't know what this says. It but says Les Baudus Parisiennes. I think that is the designer. Yes. And then... The kit is Jolie Chaton, which so, probably means happy cat. Great. Okay. Uh, so, happy cat. Look at how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. It's precious. And she wrote, put a post on it that says, thinking of you in Paris. <laughs> Did you wish someone was thinking, thinking of, of you, you in Paris? Paris. Mm -hmm. Bet you do. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much, Chris. We love you. So thoughtful. Thank yes. You. We love you so much. Okay. That is all of the mail call. That's right. Okay. Okay. Now so it's time for haul. That means we're going to talk about haul. That is what that means. And um, I neglected to download and print off the covers of the July... Patreon charts from Teresa Koga. So I've done that <coughs> now. Okay. And she usually has three for different tiers. Mm -hmm. And then there's a $5 um, Christmas ornament as well that you go on to her um, Patreon to get. Mm -hmm. So this is for tiers two, three, and four. It's just darling. It's called Dear Santa. I love it. And I paid by the year yeah. for my Patreon membership yep. for Teresa. This yep. is called Oh Christmas. Look at these leaping reindeer. I love that one. 
That's for three and four, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is only for tier four, and it's called Dancer's Friends. Also very, very sweet. Mm. I love her bunnies. And the $5 um, ornament is called Dancer's Friends as well, and it makes it into oh, a the same thing. ornament. Yeah. So I, I didn't get around to doing that last week. No problem, Pam. Okay. Um, yeah. Hold on. We're good. We'll wait. This will be a little bit challenging. Yeah. Okay. That's where something came from. Where yes. the chart go that came. I, I have it. Don't, okay. don't fret. I don't care. Um, so I was watching Jessie Marie does stuff's whip parade, and she showed um, her mid year, like what she's been working on for the last six months. Um, and I had seen this chart, but until Jessie showed it as a whip and she'd done the top border of it, um, until that point, I hadn't purchased it, but I went ahead and did it. Um, it is from Shaded Stitchery. And is that on Etsy? it's, um, I think she has her own website actually. Okay. Shady um, Stitchery? Shaded Stitchery. Oh. Shady would be. I kind, was going to say. Kind of questionable. Yeah. Um, this is not questionable at all. No, this is um, great. And this is called uh, This Juneteenth Day. And. Um, because in this, it's a gum road, gum road. Okay. Gum yeah. road. Right. So basically you, um, I think it's got a set price though. Yeah. On some gum roads, you pay what you think it's worth. But on these, I think she's, decided, yeah, she's got set she has some beautiful, beautiful designs. Um, and yeah, she sure does. Holy. Um, uh, I think her name is Nuria, I think. Um, okay. And it says, celebrate and remember ancestors who stay in our souls forever this Juneteenth day. Yes. And there's a there's actually an anthem called this Juneteenth day, which is lovely. Oh. So I went ahead and purchased and downloaded that. Awesome. Um, I also saw on Instagram. I'm getting my pile confused. Because, you got this from Acorns. But that's not this. Okay. Correct. Um. This was um, exclusive an exclusive them. from the Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit in 2022, which was held at Acorn and Threads. And um, I saw the top part stitched on Instagram, and I just fell in love with the colors. It's from Lindy Stitches. She was the guest designer, I'm assuming, and it's called Beachcomber. So I went ahead and it's got so it. Cute. I called Acorns directly and asked if they had any more left. And she said they did. She asked me if I wanted it kitted up. And I said, no, I'll just take the chart for now. Oh, my gosh. And it's just so adorable. Steph, I don't know if you stitched this or who did it, but whoever uh, stitched this is an absolutely incredible stitcher. And it models. says, comb the beach for a treasure with me. My heart resides beside the sea. Um, so, you know, it's right up my alley. So freaking cute. I love it. Good job, Steph. I got a couple more, um, you and I and friends off of eBay. I got, a uh, Primitive Snowman. These are very prim, so they're very faded photographs. That's what they did back in the day. They put actual photographs on each of their leaflets. You totally believe it? Right. Craziness. And this is um, Primitive Tree. So I picked those up off of eBay. Mm -hmm. And then I think from a D-Stash group, I picked up um, Primitive Hair. Um, yeah, we did it all the same day. We got these. We got these looking at two. all the different primitives from you and I and friends. Yep. You know, the very distinctive packaging uh, packaging that they used to do um, so cute this one has a little bit of a story this um design was uh displayed on uh no it was not displayed this was given in the smalls exchange mm. at StitchCon. i don't remember which weekend i think b but i'm not sure and i have some of the whispered by the wind designs but this I mean, to get this in a smalls exchange? It's 
a wild. Wild. Hey. And it's called the Explorer's Tomb from Whispered by the Wind. So, and it was this one. There's also this here, but it was this lower one. Sorry for the glare. And it was done in the triplicate, just like the picture. Yeah. It was amazing. So I Crazy. Went, went ahead and got it. I got it from Ye Old Cross Stitchery. Yep. Um, which is in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Which is in Bristol, PA. Yep. Um, I picked this one up. Steph said, I am shocked that you didn't already have it. It's yes. a blue ribbon design from Belinda, and it's Stitches, Stars, and Stripes. Probably Belinda's shocked I didn't already have this, too. But I thought you got that off a of D-Stash. I can't remember. Yeah, you did. Remember? See? You got it from Kathy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, pick that up off of D-Stash as well. So cute. And I've done, I've done one, mm -hmm. and I have several more in my collection. Yep. Um, this one I picked up off of a D-Stash, too, and I'll tell you why I was attracted to it. Um, this is from Elizabeth's Needlework Designs, New England Wool Works. And I think what I'm going to do, because <coughs> um, on my dad's side, they all hailed from Bridgeton, Maine. And there were, um, in that time frame of his family, my family, uh, there were a lot of factory workers, and um, there was a woolen mill and um, several other different, I think there was a mill that made dowels, actually, and, you know, actually, we don't need that plastic, mm -mm. so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out wherever the Shetland, words are, Moreno, these three and words, Cotswold. and I'm going to look up the official... Uh, name of the woolen mill that my ancestors worked in and um, change it out. I wanted to see what the fabric was and that is not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. The fabric is cappuccino but that looks very yellow. It does. Well. But such is life. You yeah. Know? But So that's what I'm going to do. That's yeah, why I was attracted to that design. Yeah. Um, I picked this up thanks to Kenny Brown. <laughs> Hi Kenny. Um we have a bunch of these, but wouldn't you know, the one he showed, mm. we didn't have. This is from 2021. When Kenny showed it on his floss tube, mm -hmm. um, Kenny Stitches, <clears throat> um, I think he slightly misspoke and said he thought it was 2020. It's 2021. It's one of the um, Cross Stitch Christmas hardcover books. Mm. And, um, you know, these have so many treasures in them let me just show you this one page this these three little miniatures are from heart in hand mm -hmm. from cecilia mm -hmm. so cecilia brought that brings back memories huh um and uh several others are very good some of them are Really not so great. <laughs> well, they're not your style. But they're not my style. Oh, this one. They want to show one. this yeah. one. This is one that I just absolutely love. I was going to say, what was the one that made you buy it? Um, I think the cover one, oh. which was Tiny Modernist. But also, this is from Emma Cong... Whoops, sorry. This is from Emma Congdon. Look at that. The paint car with the presents on top. So cute. So, so stinking cute. Love so... That. Um, 2021, I think, folks, yes. if you are collecting these. The subtitles are always different. This subtitle is Warmest Wishes. Warmest Wishes. Yep. And then, <laughs> I was after the Keepsake Cross Stitch Calendar. Not to be confused with the Keepsakes Cross Stitch. No. This is the one that uh, was, was put out by Hirschner's originally yeah and i was after the 2020 the 2004 the 2004 it's talking can't do it <laughs> so i had an ebay search for the keepsake cross stitch calendar mm -hmm. 2004 but i didn't remember why <laughs> brain so what happened was that a lot, a lot, 
<laughs> of calendars came up for auction, or maybe buy it now. I don't remember. No, it was auction, I think. On um, eBay. eBay. And... You didn't go through all those? No. Okay. This is the one I wanted from 2004, but mm -hmm. I didn't remember why. <laughs> so when the big box came, I was like, give me that thing. I got to figure out why I wanted 2004. Mm -hmm. And this is why. This, on the November picture of this calendar, is a birds of a feather. No, it's not. It's Blackbird. I mean Blackbird. Oh, geez. all that build up and I misspeak. It's fine. From Blackbird. It is on dark fabric and it looks like that. And I don't believe... See, that, that's what it looks like. It's Really? Well, it, you, I mean, it says, so they can read it. It says giving thanks. This way you can't really read that it says giving thanks. Oh, okay. Yeah. But there's a turkey, right? The, yep, there's 100% a turkey. And then there's penny okay. rugs all around it. All right. Um, and I don't think this has ever been released. So they did offer it as um, like a PDF at one point. Hirschner's did. But I don't think that that is still possible anymore. Well, it was like I have a whole pile of keepsake crusted calendars. Yeah, so we need to find our stack of keepsakes and see keepsake what might calendars be duplicates and see what we have for but duplicates. I, this was very recent. So, and so, pro tip for when if you're looking on eBay for the keepsake calendars, make sure that you get ones that have the pattern books with them. Yeah, because the last the two, newer ones don't have patterns in them. We don't have patterns for them. But because but we might they're, have them because they're recent, I'm, we might have gotten them. They yeah. might be out in our collection, which we haven't explored yet. Right, right, right. Exactly. So, anyway, um, that's what I did. Yeah. Yep. And it is what it is. Yep, it is. There you go. Okay. So, on to my haul. So, this... Um, I got a package from Shepherd's Needle. So Shepherd's Needle is um, celebrating an anniversary, much like Keepsakes is, and um, they had an exclusive design put together for them by Kathy from Hands On Design. Um, and but before I show you that, I wanted to show you the mailer. And I'm just so impressed. As head of shipping department at Keepsakes, I take a lot of stock into what shops do with their mailing. And I think that this is very, very, very cool. Yeah, it really is. And I love it. Yeah. So, super cool. Hats off to Hats Shepherd's off Needle. To Shepherd's Needle. For They're sure. in Little Rock, right? They are in Little Rock. Yes, okay. ma'am. So this is the design. This is called Tend the Flock. And it says, Tend the Flock, Gather Your Cares, Be in the Moment, Honor Your Heirs. I just think those sheep are cute. I like the sentiment. And then you also get this little pillow design as well, which is so cute. So you get, of course, the pattern. And then you get the fabric, the threads, uh, with this cute little thread drop, these amazing pins from Lady Dot Creates for your pin cushion. And then you also get the corner gauge. How cool is that? And then um, corner gauge, each corner gauge is handcrafted. So each is an original, which is cool. And then there's sort of this like tic-tac-toe situation cute. on the back, which is very cute. So, um, you know, in the exclusive game, I just think this is pretty cool. So that's awesome. And congratulations to Shepherd's Needle on their anniversary. That's awesome. Um, from Stash and Lud, I got, this is not very exciting, but I got a fat half of 36 count beach brew from R&R because when you see beach brew or any R&R you pick it up 
That's right. Uh, then, Pam showed a starry owl bag earlier, and you'll see one that I bought this week and one that I bought today, next week. So, just be prepared. Um, we all know about my love of the patchwork bag, and I got this one in the mail this week. <laughs> Look at it. Amazing. Look at it, though. Oh, tis the season. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. One of my favorite Christmas combos is this light green. Teal. Teal. Sea foam. Aqua marine. Yeah. Aqua. Blue with green. red and light pink. I just think it's really great. So when I saw that she was going to have these bags for sale, she had one with this um, fabric with the seafoam green background, um, and then she had one with red, and so I got seafoam green, and then that's the background. And the inside fabric, Christmas trees. Oh, I love it so much. It's so good. It's so well made. Oh, it's so well made. You put it over here. Mm, yeah. And then Pam and I got some new clothes. Yeah. From uh Barry. Barry at Stitch Folk. So she has been I, I'm not been to be completely transparent, I don't know how much of this is her original design or like what the whole situation is. I don't know if she designed them and but I know that she found someone to make clothing with these with this artwork on it and I think it's amazing right so there's a ton of different varieties both of um colors sizes mm -hmm. um artwork yeah. um and types of clothing so Pam and I got two we got the same artwork but on two different colors on two different types of clothing right so I got the gray t-shirt and it says, Cross Stitch Society, only the finest silks and linens since 1962. And then it says, Stitchy Friends are the best. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. And I got it in a gray t-shirt. And it's so soft. Mm -hmm. It's the um, canvas? Can canvas brand. Yep. And... Um, I got mine in Athletic Heather is the color, <laughs> um, which is my nickname, Athletic Heather. And, <laughs> uh, oops, sorry. And, um, yeah, it's awesome. So, and then what, show your... So you I got a sweatshirt, a hoodie. Yep. And I got it in pink. Pam looks great in pink. And I got the same design yeah. on mine. So it's a hoodie. Yep. And I love it. Looks great. So we will link her, uh, both her floss yep. tube and her Etsy below. Right. So you can check them out because she's adding new stuff all the time. Like today she added, um, a whole other line, a whole other line of a varsity looks like a varsity. Yes. SC for no. cross stitch university. CSU. CSU. Cross stitch university. Cute. Yeah. Super cute. Yep. So, um, and like, I mean, we ordered them pretty quickly when she announced, but we got, ours really quickly yeah, so sure um super huge thank you to barry so yeah go check them out and get yourself some swag right okay so that okay that is all, all of, of the our haul, haul. And add to cart okay 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 um before we talk about the generous folks who have donated to our framing finishing and postage expenses uh -huh. In the last week, we want to make sure that we thank all of you who went to um, P and B uh, um, making memories, making memories on Etsy, yeah. and purchased uh, anything from the Just Keep Stitching collection. And um, during the month of June, during the month of June, um, we received, and it goes right in the same pot. Mm -hmm. um, we received over two hundred dollars, 
So um, we want to thank you very much. We love um, collaborating with Pam and Bob. They are some of the best people that walk on this earth. So <clears throat> there you go. This I not expecting that. Past okay. week, <laughs> um, we had some more lovely folks who took advantage of the Buy Me a Coffee and Ko-Fi links, and we want to sincerely thank them. Um, this is a totally optional and um, totally voluntary uh, thing that mm -hmm. you are able to do. It supports us in our foster journey, and we sincerely appreciate everybody um, that has um, shared this journey with us. Mm -hmm. So um, we would like to sincerely thank Jana. Thank you, Jana. Nancy, thank you very much, Nancy. Kathleen, thank you as well. Sharon, thank you so much, Sharon. Mary Ann, thank you, Mary Ann. And Kathy. Right. Thank you so much, Kathy. Yes. So, um, that pretty much um, wraps it up. Um, and that went under the sofa just as a wreck. Really? Yep. Slid right underneath the sofa. Well, maybe one of the cats will retrieve it. Yeah. If you guys could get that, that'd be great. <laughs> just thanks. Uh, so anyway, thanks for stopping by. Um, and uh, take a moment and say a prayer for Stephanie. She's going back to the shop tomorrow. Say a prayer. Oh, uh, boy. Or send good vibes or whatever you do. Yeah. And um, things will get more or less back to normal around here. Um, it was fun when it lasted. <laughs> we watched all the seasons that were available of Yellow Jackets. Yep. Pam hated every second of it. Um, also, the crazy people. That's what I started to call. <laughs> yeah. I said, who's going to be on the crazy people tonight? And I said, Pam, if you were in the woods, you would be crazy too. Okay. Uh, I could say volumes, but yeah, I'm say sort of glad it's over. Yeah. And it's only over temporarily yeah. because of the strike. Yeah. And then God knows what the screenwriters are going to do with this show Woo! after. Woo! Stephanie loves it. Woo! I just sit there and stitch. Yeah. And then um, also because... Kevin Victoria have been telling me to start it for numerous, numerous months. Ted Lasso. Yeah. Oh, it's hilarious. And you know what? When we first watched it, and when the episodes were half an hour, I was like, yeah, yeah. But we got her. But I've been sucked in. I've been sucked it's in. It's really, I love it. It's it, The characters are very, very unique. Yes. And they're fleshed out more now. And, you know, I know nothing about football nothing about football at all no well, i don't either it isn't about that no it's uh um, what did you say this the writers were the same as the writers for... so the show is streaming on apple tv right and um if you watched shrinking um it's there's like some connection the writers are the same or yeah. whatever whatever yeah. and we watched shrinking and we loved shrinking and my feeling is that they're playing with a toy. Um, what's wrong? Nothing. Okay. And the um, shrinking is about therapists, but like not about therapists. Right. And Ted Lasso is about soccer, but like not about soccer. Right. right. So this, this um, the category of television is a dramedy. So it's like about serious stuff, but like also hilarious. Absolutely. There are some real zingers in there. <laughs> Real singers, mostly from the Jason character. Jason Sudeikis, from yeah. Ted. Yeah, from Ted. Oh, himself. it's funny. So even I bust out laughing. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, we've kept you here long enough. Yeah, sorry. Wow. Okay. And we're a little hungry. Yeah. So um, we're gonna say uh, see you next week. Au revoir. Have a great week. Mm -hmm. And um, stay cool out there, friends. Take a deep breath and enjoy your stitching. In the meantime, I'm Pam, and I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.